How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we are back for another iteration of Airliners International Airport updates, this time for 2024 at Kansas City, of course. So this is going to be our European model airport, since I have some narrow bodies that we're able to utilize today. And today, we're going to be taking our model airport to East La Grande, which is another reference to the show, of course. So this airport is going to be a reliever airport to the beautiful city of Amsterdam, as their airport has reached capacity and they need some additional flights to be done here. So very similar to the last format with Slimmer International Airport, we will go one by one with all these airplanes. Somebody will take it and we'll continue to proceed from there. So apologies in advance, uh, I am extremely fatigued, so hopefully I can pull my brain together for this. But nevertheless, we are gonna make some references here and go ahead and get started. Our first aircraft is going to be this uh, beautiful Phoenix 1400, a Lufthansa Airbus E321. It will be a NEO this time. This aircraft is going to be making a non-stop service today, making a flight today out to uh, Munich. So cool to get Munich in here instead of Frankfurt. So good variety there, and it should be making its rounds there. Really underrated Phoenix models. They are really nice. So glad to have them here. And again, that aircraft is heading over to Munich. Next along here, we have the Transavia Airbus A321neo. Uh, he's going to be heading to London Luton up there, coming in nice. from, um, I'm just going to say Stockholm. There you go. We'll take this one. We have this lovely Air France A220-300 that just came in from Paris Charles de Gaulle about an hour ago, and it's going to do a turnaround flight in about 30 minutes. Well done. Next, we have a beautiful Gemini 400 scale <laughs> Egypt Air, Boeing 787. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, if somebody else wanted to talk, you have five seconds to do it. But there is one, two, three, four, five. I think there was six possibilities, and nobody took it. So we're going to, I'm going to do it. Seven. Seven. Seven possible people, and nobody took it. So we have an e uh, Egypt Air 707, and this aircraft is going to be heading over to Cairo today. It's going to be a nonstop. So, uh, but. Let's just go ahead and take a look at this. I, I mean, so. outstanding, <laughs> yeah. outstanding model. Really nice. You know that reference, Anderson. CLT-13 would really yeah. appreciate I know it all that. Too well. so I'm really glad <laughs> to have that today. And that's a good-looking plane. So glad to see that there today. It's really nice. All right, everyone. Here we have the beautiful British Airways uh, One World A320. And he'll be flying out to London Gatwick. Very nice. All right, uh, next up we have a Phoenix 400 scale, Egypt Air Airbus E321neo, another really good looking aircraft, macro mode sucks. This aircraft's gonna be heading over to Cairo as well. Oh, oh shoot, we have two Egypt Airs in here. I didn't even realize that. We, we need to do a special real quick. So here we have two Egypt Airs. We have a 321neo and a, oh, damn it, macro mode, this is so frustrating. And then we have a 707. So really good to get both of them in here. I'm like. Am I rereading the brain here? But no, this is what is the seven hundred seven doing? It's, uh, it's just it's a comparison. <laughs> it's just, it looks, we're just looking at it. So anyway, we'll pull that off and get back to the neo. So anyway, that aircraft's going to be heading over to Cairo as well. However, this aircraft uh, came in earlier today from New York, John F. Kennedy. So cool to get some uh, outstanding variety on that aircraft and definitely a good looking airplane there. So definitely glad to see that. All right, so we have this Egypt, not Egypt, uh, Airbus A three twenty neo. <laughs> And let's say she had just arrived from London Heathrow International, and I think she'll be making another round for another UK based airport, which is London Gatwick. So, really cool to see EasyJet doing their rounds here from their airports in the UK. Very hey, hey, Mark, um, mind explaining about uh. <laughs> 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 Can you explain about this? <laughs> no, 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 no. Second of all, second of all, how about that? Time out. First off, <laughs> nicely done. Now, I'm not sure if you're trying to be realistic or not, but I might be wrong. Somebody correct me. I don't believe EasyJet flies to Heathrow. Is that right? No, they don't. I they do not. So, I believe Gapwick's their primary operation. Okay, so. let's just say she was just like... She just arrived from but Gatwick. that's fine. I was just, I didn't know if you were being realistic or not. Yeah. just wanted to help anybody that didn't know uh, they don't fly to Heathrow, but Gatwick, and I believe they fly to the other greater London airport, too. Now, Mark, can you explain <laughs> this? I'm going to purposely do the frame like this. I mean, this uh, WestJet Stall 340 could be in really big trouble. Because uh, if he backs up a little bit too far, he's going to be a little bit too far. He's inside. Oh, what's a cancel? 
back up into that. This is another F A T S A, and then whatever like air travel investigation in the UK that's gonna lead to this. And All not, flights were canceled, and both aircrafts <laughs> really had to get repaired. And not just that. How the how on earth how that South three forty from connect from Canada all the way to Europe. No, I don't know. now listen. We decided that this was going to be a Logan Air substitution heading over to London. Uh, pick the airport. I don't know which one it's supposed to go to. London uh, Gatwick. London Gatwick. London Gatwick. Thank you very much. Glad to have it. And now we're on to our next aircraft, the wide body airplane, the big show, the international show. Next up, we have this Tap A330 300 wearing the very lovely retro livery. Unfortunately, this aircraft doesn't exist anymore, nah, but crap. it's very nice that we do have this in model form from Gemini Jet. This aircraft arrived in from Lisbon, Portugal, and it will be making a turnaround flight in just a few hours. Next along here, we have the Azul Airbus A350-900 uh, coming in from Sao Paulo, Brazil, after coming in from Lima, Peru. Time out. You can't come in from two places, so is it... Let's decide. Is it coming in or is it going to? It coming in from Lima, Peru. But I can't blame you because I have done that so many times, so no hard feelings, but I just wanted to say that... Yes, no, maybe. All right, next. I'll do this one because it's probably the one I'm so competent enough to do. Oh. So we have the version <laughs> A350-1000 on the London Eco term. term <laughs> well, I understand at least you're honest with the situation right now. Okay, uh, not very competent you're either. very honest. All right, I'll do this one again. So here we have an Alitalia 777-300, and it is going to Milan this time. Johnson on over. All right, let's do this Saudi Boeing 787-10 in the quote-unquote retro livery, well, now in the standard livery, and let's say she had just arrived from Jeddah and she'll be making the returning flight up there. Next along, we have the American Airlines Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner. He's going to be heading out to Miami today. Oh, nice. And to finally round out this wonderful air productive here, at, I forgot the airport name. Please remind East me again. East Le Grande, Chris. East Le Grande. There we go. <laughs> Not like Ariana Grande, but anyway. No. No. <laughs> wow. wow. Just wow. Just wow. Like JJ, that reference is for a friend of mine who likes to call inside himself voice, Mother Nature. Inside voice. <laughs> but as we get back on track here, this FedEx MD-11 is heading to... We're going to not send this to Memphis today. We're actually going to send this to Newark today. Oh, even better. Oh, that that's even a better. double reference. Double was, reference. We love really, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, for it's... anybody that knows it, the one person that should know it hopefully gets to watch this video. Anyway, another outstanding airport update. We will be back for another round, I'm sure. When that's going to be, we will have to find out as Airlines International schedule is packed for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, very excited for us, though. I uh, hope all of you enjoyed today's video. Uh, glad that we were able to make that situation work. We'll try to come up with a new layout for the next update so we can... So we don't have, like, this Saab before well, you I think the Saab... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's plenty of room for it. So. Well, that is true. That it's is not true. A so, anyway, uh, we'll round this out and just do it. <laughs> so, with all that being said, everyone, thank you for watching. Looking forward to seeing all of you in the next update. Take care, everyone, and until next time, see you soon.